We have this essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome number two for those of you born on the 2nd, the 11th. Um, please do the math. If it your birth date adds up to a number two, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. We have the Dragon Oracle deck, Lord Shiva's deck, and the Moonology deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Wiccan deck, the Smithweight, the Celtic Dragon, and the Dragon Tarot. All right, let's begin with the central theme of the month. Number two for the month of February, you've pulled out the full moon in Libra. Remember, it's on February 24th, which says a win-win outcome is forecast. You've pulled out the Dragon Oracle deck that speaks about scars. Very, very interesting. And it's one of my favorite cards. And the card of change of Lord Shiva, which speaks about, it shows the Damru, of course. It's a percussion instrument that he holds in, a, in one of his hands, which says, prepare yourself for the imminent winds of change, knowing that it may bring both favorable and unfavorable outcomes, but it is an inescapable reality. So changes. There will be some kind of a change that you will be uh, that you will go through a, a sort of a transformation uh, just short of a metamorphosis so let me explain that there will be a change that you may or may not like but you will not be able to move yourself away from it you have to go through it that's going to happen it could be your personal and or professional life right and why this card is showing up is because you need to prepare yourself for it the card of full moon in Libra speaks about in a situation that you are in at the moment, the outcome, the result is going to be in your favor. Now the violet dragon here, my beautiful violet dragon, God, they are gorgeous, gorgeous and knowledgeable creatures. So here um, she speaks about scars. Now in the darkest hours of your life, and we all go through that, right? Um, there are certain scars, there are certain marks that have left their indentation deep, deep down within you. You need to get rid of that. These could be more than one or, you know, several and scattered. And they have caused you a lot of pain. You have been taking a lot of time to heal from it. And the process has been very, very slow. Having said that, there is a way that you can finally release these scars and let the healing process be taken over by the dragons the ascended masters um, the healing powers of the universe your gods and goddesses whatever whoever you believe in okay but you need to have an element of forgiveness you have to have acceptance of the fact that that disaster had happened right and devotion and focus in the process more than the result if you can do these three then you are sure to heal and if you can't well please see if you can don't give yourself the option if you can't very easy to throw in the towel all right um the first week of the month uh, for of feb 2024 number two you've pulled out the card of the hierophant also known as the high priest card okay it's a pure vicar card the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So the first week itself, if you see, there's a lot of swords um, in the cards in the first week. Three out of four, which means that you will have many situations which will be double-edged. So you will have to see, you have to accept the fact that with the good, there will be the not so good and vice versa right so accept that for example and i'm going to st i'm going to start giving you silly examples of day-to-day -day life so bear with me you buy vegetables vegetables are perishables they need to be used because they have a shelf life so if you buy vegetables the good side is it's good for health the bad side is you need to consume it as soon as possible or else it rots right so that's an example your thoughts are similar if you don't check your thoughts 
and if you don't release it into the atmosphere saying that this is not something which i want to uh, involve myself in or i want to um, walk the path where this thought is disturbing me and if you don't release it into the atmosphere or the universe do you know what happens right it festers in your body and it rots and causes you stress and other issues right so that's why you need to be very careful when these uh, sword cards come don't just sit and knit weird overthinking thoughts in your mind right let's move on the hierophant card tells me that you could be a taurian or dealing with one this card or the high priest card means as a pure vika card like i told you there is some element of magic that is happening in your life magic is being conducted um and whether it is good or bad um it's not that will not be shown through this card but this information is what you need to have there is magic that is happening in your life um and usually this also means that in either you will be invited or you will be conducting a religious ceremony you must not move away from it you must attend it because something will happen during that time that uh, it is going to be it is going to give you your eureka moment something that has been um, eluding you something that you have not been um you've not been able to put your finger on that eureka moment is what you require to uh, for closure all right let's start doing it one by one now all right so um three of swords tells me that for those of you who are um in a relationship um this is a third party card which means that either you are um you know um having an affair or your spouse is your partner is um this card also means that in a situation trying to come to a solution is becoming difficult because there are more people in this situation than meet the eye and because the involvement is of a lot of people that is why it's difficult to come to a solution because everybody's energy is playing up the page of swords tells me that you could be receiving a harsh message or giving out one if you are receiving a harsh harsh message be be gentle about it there is no need to lash back but always remember that if you have received a harsh message it is important not to let that energy cut into your energy and and bring your vibrational frequency down instead be mature and step away from the situation if you are the one who's giving out a harsh message please ensure that it is the last resort and uh, you're out of all choices you you have to be really direct and blunt the nine of swords tells me that uh, you have not been you won't be uh, sleeping very well um in the first week which means that there might be a disruption in your sleep pattern which means insomnia could be related due to stress maybe you're using too much of your laptop or your mobile maybe you're not eating well maybe your stomach is you know your gut health is an issue so uh, or maybe something is something of concern is there so uh, or maybe you've just become a night owl and uh, it's become a habit you need to break out of the cycle because your sleep is very very important for you to be a clear thinker and function really well during the day the second week of uh, feb 2024 number 2 you've pulled out the 6 of swords the magician card the 2 of wands and the 5 of coins or the 5 of pentacles right so let's put it one by one 6 of swords tells me that uh, in a situation that you are um, in and you're waiting for the best possible option uh, best possible result uh, this is what the universe is here to tell you that listen you have reached a point where you need to cut your losses and move on because this is as good as it gets so take this offer that's been given to you and go ahead you know carry on with your life path also you could be planning a trip by the water the magician card is a beautiful card that we use a lot for spell casting this card means that you are the magical manifester of your destiny all the elements are moving in your favor everything is absolutely good and hunky dory but all you have to do is control your thoughts because your thoughts become things and these are the things that will come running and jumping into your life so if you start your thinking by um oh my god i hope this person 
uh, does not get uh, affected by the evil eye guess what something will happen to that person and uh, then you you'll start feeling guilty or if you say um, you know I wish this person doesn't fall any more ill then that person will start falling sicker and sicker so you understand what's happening so this will be unintentional I'm not saying that people who are into dark magic will start becoming magical manifestors but they will start um, as a magician card um, the the core importance that is given to a human being is solely the fact that you are someone who has the ability to create your reality through your imagination just by the power of manifestation putting in all the energy into that so given the statement you might as well say this day is going to be one of the best days of this year right or there is going to be a special uh, moment where i'm going to witness a miracle by the end of this week or by the end of tomorrow so do you understand so create things that you would like to enjoy right okay if i'm spending a lot of time in explaining one of the cards then do understand that that is for your own good so that you can relate it to your life okay two of wands tells me that you you already have something in your life in your hands and this is a really really it's a really good thing it's an important thing and you know that it is something that is well worth your time effort money etc but you are building on it and you're trying to make it into a very very uh, presentable and beautiful thing um, and then you want to present it to the world and you're and this creativity of yours is going to bear fruit and it could be something um, really small in your eyes but the way that your creative juices are flowing into making it look you know bigger better brighter more beautiful it's going to become no short of a golden ball and you are going to reap the fruit of it so keep at it whatever it is that you're doing okay this idea of yours seems to be a very good one um, and the last card of the second week you have the five of coins or the five of pentacles this is a card of poverty thinking uh, number two uh, this is a card that is not going to be something that will serve you remember when we talk about poverty thinking we are saying that you may or may not be someone uh, who has enough money and purchasing power but there is definitely an element of i don't have enough that is running through your head maybe you want some things and you feel like you can't afford it uh, and you've shelved it for later but that is creating a pocket of low vibration or vibrational frequency um, in your life and that is not something that is going to suit you or serve you in terms of your energy pattern that is not something that you want to invite into your life getting rid of it is very difficult to do so instead nip it in the bud say for example there is something you like and you say i like this but um, it's not there in my priority list right no problem that's a good way to say it but if you say i can't afford to buy it or this is too expensive immediately the universe gets the message that okay let's give him or her more things that they feel they can't afford it's not a trick that is being played on you it's just your thoughts that are being mirrored i hope i'm clear so don't do that okay choose your words carefully and choose how you treat these magical spell words each word is a spell that's why we say spelling okay so so just just watch how you're thinking all right a sip of my chai and on the third week we go ria have your chai the third week of uh, Feb 2023, number two, we have Queen of Coins or the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor card, the Death card and the Ace of Swords. So you have two major Arcana cards, which means right up front, you have the Blessings of the Angels. I'm going to keep them separately. Right, so let's do this one first. The Queen of Coins or the Queen of Pentacles says, don't go by the gender, you could be a male also. This card says that people are looking at you as someone who can take care of you and yours this card also means that you are thinking about how to increase and or create more monies either for uh, buying something or for reinvesting but you are thinking about how to make more money okay this is a good idea stay at it but uh, look for something 
that is going to be a consistent way of income, a consistent income, not a short term benefit, right? So think of it like that. Ace of Swords is an interesting card we use a lot in spell casting. This means that if you want to win in the situation that you are in, you want the outcome to be in your favor, you need to act now. If you act now, then you will definitely soar like an eagle, you will be wearing the crown, this and that. So just remember that any kind of procrastination will make the universe take the decision for you and then it may not be as good as it will be if you take a call now all right okay so the death card is here to say that you could be a scorpio or dealing with one this card also means that this is the time when there will be a belief system that will end in your life you will now conclude that what you believed in earlier is not serving your purpose now therefore you need to move away and out of it so it's literally like climbing out of a dark pit and yes this is going to move in your favor so allow yourself that and disallow anyone else asking you why you've taken that decision right it's your decision so it should be respected the Emperor card is here to say that you could be an Aries or dealing with one. This card also means that you're thinking about securing the future of your next, of the next generation, your offspring, siblings, uh, nephew, niece, etc. This card also means that you're taking decisions in your life, keeping an active, action-oriented person uh, in mind. Could be a mentor, could be a um, family member. And the last week of uh, Feb 2023, number two you've pulled out the tower card the three of cups look at that the queen of coins has come again for the second time and the king of swords so queen of coins has come once before um came yeah so here you had it in the third week right so it's come again in the fourth week which means that the universe wants you to sit up and take notice and this is definitely something so you do have even if you're a male you do have yang energy so there is definitely some kind of a feminine force that's happening in your life you are thinking about money you are thinking um, but you're doing well and you should be emanating you should be matching the energy this energy that i'm showing you of uh, being rich enough or capable enough let's put it that way to be financially sound so that you can take care of you and those of you yourself and those of you depend on you if you don't match this and get in touch because then we'll have to switch your vibrational frequency okay all right um next card next card three of cups beautiful beautiful card that says you will be part of a celebration don't and be a small one or you'll either you'll conduct it or you'll attend it but it'll be a little tiny celebration um you you'll be celebrating something excellent abundant energy again a card we use a lot in spell casting enjoy it this will get your Mm, vibrations high you will be feeling good and happy um, and the company is going to be something that you're going to enjoy as well okay hmm. king of swords don't go by the gender you could be a female also tells me that you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that you are being quite stern in terms of uh, mm, taking taking decision uh, decisions in your current current uh, station in life because the responsibility of seeing the result has somehow come totally on you and since you're feeling responsible it's obvious that you want the best possible result because your name is at stake okay um, this card also is for widowers and divorcees and uh, it's it's a card that says don't be too hard on yourself the universe understands that you are expected to be stern at this point of time because you need to get the job done and the last card for you for the month of February, number two, is the Tower card, which says, don't panic. Yes, it's not a very pretty card to look at, but uh, the Tower card says that you were expecting something to happen, but it will happen faster than what you expected. Initially, it is going to feel like the ground is moved from beneath your feet. You can experience that, but please snap out of it quickly. Stand strong, stand tall and tell yourself, that at this point of time your emotions don't have any role to play but logic definitely has a role to play also the more confident you are and uh, the more sure you are you are you and you'll walk out of this and you will walk out of it stronger and if you do that then i promise you things will move in your favor all right 
Okay, very, very interesting spread. As usual, you never disappoint me. Number two, I will see you in the month of March. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. And Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. Beatis Essay.